Soybeans continuing to slump on Thursday. Despite those big China corn buys, grains were also under pressure. Michelle Rook is back to talk it over with Chip Nellinger in this Markets Now. Kind of a mixed day on Thursday in grain and livestock futures trade. Chip Nellinger, Blue Reef Agri Marketing, joining us. And I want to single out the soybeans because we had a poor day there. New lows for the move. We've lost like a buck 42 here on the November contract, Chip. And how much more do you think we have in terms of downside risks, especially since funds are still long there? Yeah, I think that's the biggest problem that we have is the fund long position. And it appears that, you know, they're in the process of just exiting um, all their links across the um, at least the grain markets, if not a lot of the other commodity markets, all this uncertainty with the banking sector and, you know, the interest rate situation and, and the financial market uncertainty. It seems like funds are running for the exits. Uh, they have a lot more to go in the beans here. Um, you know, arguably, they'd have at least another, uh, you know, I don't know, 70, 80,000 contracts to go. We broke under the 200 day moving average yesterday, uh, or I should say two days ago. And uh, that just kind of triggered them to continue uh, that exit. And so unfortunately, there might be some more downside here in the short run uh, in the bean market. I think you're unwinding spreads as well, right? That were long beans against short corn and against short wheat. And I think, it, you know, this technical money flow is starting to unwind that spread yeah. that just adds momentum to the sell side in beans. It does not help that the products, both meal and oil, have imploded as well, though. Yeah, exactly. That, that's part of it as well. The soy right. oil market has just imploded as well. And, um, you know, again, it's just kind of when it uh, when it rains, it, it pours. There, uh, there's a long position, a big, long position built up still in that meal market. So they'd have plenty to go on the meal side, although there's that give and take between the oil meal spreading. Still some profitability on the on the crush side and the, you know, the biodiesel, renewable uh, diesel side. But uh, there's a lot of moving parts in there, a lot of spread activity. The bottom line is the right. funds are in sell mode, unfortunately, and there might be some additional downside here in the very short run in the bean market. Corn, is the bleeding done there? I mean, we got drugged down a little bit by soybeans, obviously, but we've seen exports pick up. Yeah, we have, what, uh, seven of the last eight days uh, or thereabouts, we've seen China in for U.S. corn. I think that's a good sign. Um, you know, obviously, our export sales were, were really big uh, yesterday. That was expected. But I think corn is at a value area here. Uh, okay. Sure, if beans have another 50, 60, 70 cents to go, it probably won't help corn out. But you know, the funds are already out of their longs in corn. They're actually right. a little bit net short now. It's the wrong time of year here at the end of March for the funds to build up a big short position with the entire Brazil second crop corn season ahead of us and our entire growing season ahead of us. It'd just be kind of the wrong time right. historically. So I think the corn's a better value area here than uh, maybe where beans are. Thanks so much for joining us. Chip Nellinger, Blue Reef Agri Marketing. We're Ag Day coming up. Farming has changed. Markets are riskier than ever. For customized, focused commodity marketing, contact Chip Nellinger or Adam Dreyer at 309-550-7213.